So at some point in your maker career, you'll inevitably get to the point where you want to make a bunch of PCBs. But doing them by hand is tedious and prone to error. If you're an electronic engineer or a pro maker, then you'll know what a pick and place machine is. For everyone else, these are high accuracy machines designed to pick components from a reel and place them on a PCB. I had the good fortune to be sent a light placer, which is an open source, open hardware pick and place machine. This video is the first part of my adventures with the light placer. So one of the first things to bear in mind is the fact that the light placer is really for an experienced maker. It comes in a DIY kit format with thousands of parts. So if you're someone who just wants to build a couple of PCBs, then I'd suggest finding a maker space that has one. However, this kit has been around for a while now, I think since early 2015, and the level of detail to this kit is pretty impressive. Every bag is labelled clearly and the documentation is some of the best I've seen for an open source kit. For open source projects, documentation is one of the things that usually gets left to last or completely ignored. However, the Light Placer has a comprehensive 100 step process just for the mechanical build. So once again, this kit is really for someone with a fair bit of experience. For the regular viewers of my channel, you'll know that my documentation reading attention span is pretty short. So if I can get through it, anyone can. So let's get stuck into the mechanical build. Down in Australia this time of year, you will often find young scallywags called makers. Often spending days on a single project. Endless hours of documentation to read. Such a fine endeavour. Oh boy, they have such fun making all their fine gadgets. So apparently this is a 97 step assembly and I'm up to step three. <sighs> okay, moving on.
So normally I run my own JLC PCB ads, but my wife does a much better job. This video is being sponsored by JLC PCB, who provides Mick with all his PCBs. They can produce one to six layer boards from 0.4 to 2 millimeter thickness via drill size down to 0.2 millimeters, track widths down to 3.5 mil and can handle BGAs, controlled impedance, cutouts, gold fingers and other weird things. <laughs> you can currently get five PCBs for only $2 in any colour manufactured in 24 hours. Click on the link in the description below to check them out. Mick is also giving away a $20 coupon to be used on any JLC PCB purchase. The first to respond in the comments below will get it. Excellent. Okay, so we're up to the point where I've done all the mechanical assembly for the uh, light placer. One of the things to bear in mind is this is a super accurate piece of machinery. So it's capable of being able to pick and place 0402s, which are pretty tiny little components. So it needs a fairly stable platform to sit on. So I was looking around at the hardware store for something that would be adequate. Uh, this would be a hardwood based timber and usually something that doesn't absorb moisture uh, because any timber that absorbs moisture will warp and that will of course push the whole frame out. Uh, so I selected some Merbo which I believe is pretty stable and also it is probably the most uh, flattest bit of timber. It's finger jointed Merbo and I'm going to double layer it up. Uh, just to safeguard it even more. So now that everything is all mounted up onto the sturdy base platform, I needed to have the whole kit as mobile as possible. Everything in my studio is on wheels so that I can easily move stuff around for filming. So I attached wheels to some cheapo kitchen cabinets and then mounted this onto the top. I haven't yet screwed the pick and place to the countertop as I might need to insert some rubber feet to dampen any vibrations that may be caused by servo motors. Bear in mind that there's many different ways to set up the light placer. And since it's all open source software, if you want to have feeders on the left or right, you can easily modify the code to suit the setup. I wanted to have the up facing camera as close as possible to the feeders and the nozzles because this allows for easy and quick double checking of correct pickups of parts and nozzles. Essentially the less travel you cover per part, the faster your boards will be populated. So from the mechanical build of the light placer, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. I was expecting there to be some errors in the documentation or some problems with parts. The only issue I encountered was the wrong eccentric spaces being sent. And Juha, the creator of the light placer, raised this issue before I even started unpacking the boxes. 
So it was a long build and it took me around two days. But if you're not filming, you should be able to get it all done in a day. So that's pretty much it for the mechanical build out. The next video, I'll be covering all the electrical fit out. Thanks for watching and see you next week.